Hello there. Welcome to Drawing with the Blakeleys. I'm Dad. And I'm Charlie. And Charlie... Wait. You just said your name. You didn't say anything else. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Let's try the next step. Mm -hmm. Hey, Charlie, who are we drawing today? I don't know. Montgomery Gator from Five yeah. Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Yeah, sure, I guess. Thank you to Paleo Gamer for suggesting this one. And fun tip to all those guys and gals out there looking to have us do their suggestion. If you do one that we already want to do, if you suggest one you already want to do, it's it's much easier to do it. So, Charlie. Yeah? You ready to get started? Uh, sure, why not? Sorry to, to interrupt your gaming. Yeah. To let you earn some money. So, I'm thinking, Charlie, we should start with the... Mm, shades. I was gonna start with this nose, with this alligator snout. <clears throat> I was gonna say shades, but this reference image that we're looking at is from a low angle. So if we do the shades first, the star shades, then it's gonna be, you know, hard to. We're gonna have to, you know, they're they're behind it. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Really, I'm not very articulate this evening. All right, so that's kind of the start of his head. Oh, really? I guess I could go all the way up over the top to his mohawk. I don't wanna go too far because I want to save room for the sunglasses here. But I guess we could. Also do his mohawk as well. Now, now Charles is when I want to do those shades. I'm gonna do the inside first, and then do the outside. It's basically just two stars. Right, his cool star shades. Let's do the same thing on this side to the extent that they're peeking out from under there, but I'm gonna go outside inside this time. Just cause, I don't know, cause that's something I tend to do. I'll do the outside of, I'll go outside in and then inside out just cause that's the way I like to draw. I know what you're thinking, Charlie. Dad, yeah. it doesn't make any sense. Why would you go outside in and then inside out? And all I can say is, uh. I don't have a good reason. All right, now, you know what time it is? No. Getting it's, too late. It's about six o'clock the day before this is coming out. But uh, what I meant to say was it's time to draw the teeth. There's a little, little misdirection there on the part of Dad. And I find it easiest when drawing teeth and stuff to start with the ones that are most straight on, right? We can see both sides, especially with like teeth where they're overlapping as they go back and back into the head. If you do the ones first that are, you know, that you have the most straightforward view of, then you don't have to worry about getting the overlapping thing wrong. So that's just a, a real good basic tip for anyone who's drawing is if you have something in front of something else, draw the thing in front first. Then you don't have to go back and erase anything. And it's not always possible to do it that way. I'm just going to start that, but I don't want to finish it because, again, the arm is going to be coming out from in the middle there. But I do also want to 
So I'm doing the two shoulder blade areas here. Now again, as we're going up this arm here, we're about to get to his spiked uh, wristband. So I want to draw that first, the top line, then the spikes. He's got kind of like the, the punk rock or gram, glam rock spiked collar look. Now, I want this to go down. Try to draw a line that's parallel to your top one there. And then come up and connect those lines thusly. Good job, Char. I got a chance to look at yours before you pull your hand was briefly away from it. It looked awesome. Okay, now let's. Do the hand here. And it's at a slightly weird angle, so it's gonna be a, I think a little bit tricky to get perfect, but you know, hands are difficult, not the least um, because they're just they have like a lot of different angles. So I'm gonna kinda work from the front to the back once again as much as I can. Uh, I'm not sure I fully nailed it there, but it's good enough. Ah. And then before I forget, I'm going to come back, finish that off. Now, if the hand looks a little big, it is closer to us as a viewer because of foreshortening. Let's see. Nice job, Charlie. Oh, my. Love that. Love that. Awesome. So I'm going to come across to this side now. Let's do this arm. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, though, no, I do, looking at this, I am going to have to do the chest plate here, torso area, because of the fact that uh, Montgomery is slightly turned and so this arm is somewhat behind there. And again, I'm seeing now, as I'm looking at it, I'm not going to go too much further down there because there's a guitar, right, going across the body. So we'll set that up for later and we'll come back over here. Got to do his. Just want to indicate where his lighter patch on his chest is here. And then he has like a thing coming down here. All right, I think then at this point, I'm going to start to draw the guitar because the guitar is in front of pretty much everything else that I want to draw here, so I'm going to start with just the basic shape of the guitar, the guitar's body here, and then I did that, so I'm going to bring this line down and try and keep it parallel. Oops, went a little bit too far on that line. That's okay. They can't all be perfect. Awesome, so there's your guitar body. Let's start the neck here. And why well, the hand coming in? So I'm gonna have the neck go like that. 
him will have Monty's uh, fingers come through here. drawing the head of the guitar. Cool, cool, cool. And then just a little bit of a 3D look here. And then just some of the details of the guitar itself. We got these rectangles here. I think the hardest part of this guitar is actually going to be the strings just because it's it can be hard to draw a real long straight line like that not curve it at all as it goes up or maybe that's just my own particular uh, thing I struggle with Really, that might just be me. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm actually pretty happy with how that came out. So, I'm gonna do the top of his robot arm coming down. Do his other spiky uh, collar, uh, wrist, what do you call it? Bracelet. So I can come down like that. Armband? Yeah, armband or bracelet. Or bracelet. Either one's fine, I think. Okay. Nice! Can I take a look at yours? See how you're done? Very nicely done, Charles. This guy is a pro, ladies and gentlemen. That's mm -hmm. why he makes the big mm -hmm. bucks. I get okay. paid the so exact same amount as everyone else. You get paid more than me. You get paid more than Miles or Hannah. So he did his kind of pelvis there, coming out here with this tail. Nice. Again, this is, uh, these are getting bigger as they get closer to us, the viewer, because, why, Charlie? Do you know why? Uh, foreshortening, that's right. I was going to say foreshadowing. <laughs> foreshadowing. Well, that's not something that we do in drawing. That's a, uh, I'm literature. going, well, I've heard that there may not be, um, another leg something maybe a little like that now uh, this guy sometimes uh, doesn't have legs when he's in his pictures and uh, sometimes he's a full leg at the least uh no four shadows <laughs> uh that is not the case here and again you're gonna folks at home are probably gonna notice i'm gonna blow right through these legs because i just don't care as much about legs Sorry if you're like a person who really digs legs, like I just... Like, would you not like those legs of yours? No, I just don't care that much about adding a lot of detail to a character's legs. But what if they literally are pretty much just leg? Well, then, well, they're, then we're probably not going to draw them on our channel. But what if, like, it's very suggestive and it's um, <laughs> suggested and popular? No, there have been things that have been suggested and popular that we did not draw on our channel. Like what? I wish I could tell you, Charlie, but you would cry. What? I mean, every day I get these people saying, draw Red Dead, and I'm just like, bro, I don't want to draw Red Dead. I mean, the game is literally, uh, like, no one plays that game anymore. It's about, like, what, like, a couple, like, three years old now? I mean, who plays that a game anymore, am I right? Are you talking Actually, about? No one's, are you talking no one's about, requested Red Dead. I just thought if I yeah, said Red Dead because you like it. That what? What? I don't play. The, I I play online. Not 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 the original. 
Okay. If you say so, bro. There's about like three different games. You can't just say Red Dead. We can play Red Dead Online. Okay. Mm -hmm. A very important distinction to me, I promise. What? Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh in your face like that. Wait, you just... Wait, All you right. Just... Charlie. Yeah? I'm thinking. It's time Could to kill this don't? dude. Let's oh, oh, do I, it! I, 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 <laughs> Well, no, he's not a guy. He's a, that's a group of guys. Anyhow, thank you, Charlie, for uh, telling the kids out there, the folks out there about Monty Python. My favorite snake. Uh-huh. <laughs> what's a scratch? Anyhow, uh, I don't know why I just said that like that. No. You know what? Uh, let's just say we're done with this one. Got some jelly beans. Just trying to blend. You like jelly beans? No, thank you. All right, we're gonna go on your screen. You see our logo. Go ahead and click on that to subscribe. Ring the bell to be notified each and every time that we put out a new video. Don't forget to gently, lovingly caress that like button that you see directly below this video. And of course, if you want to see something, all you gotta do is let us know down in the comments. Until next time, friends! Goodbye! Goodbye!